Last night, what was I last night? I went to the LSPU Hall. I've seen many great shows at the LSPU Hall. You know, it's a prominent and important building downtown. It's been the home of the arts for quite a long time. The renovation is beautiful, by the way. The hall is really looking good. Now, last night I went to a lecture offered by a gentleman named Dr. Stieg Bernander. Dr. Bernander is a renowned and a world-renowned expert in the field of how to manage, deal with quick clay, glacial clay, marine clay, pug, as many of you will know it. All right. For starters, I thought it was pretty good. And I think it's a necessary conversation, obviously, because the integrity of the dam relies on whether or not we've done a good job in stabilizing, I guess, analyzing and then eventually stabilizing that quick clay so that the dam doesn't rush downstream, you know, gets swept away, and consequently the loss of life and the damage to homes and what have you done the river. All right, so what do I say about this? I thought it was all right. Now, I am not a geotechnical expert, and I thought Dr. Bernander, albeit just... He says... <laughs> At the beginning of his lecture, he says, and he's quick to point out, he's not here to tell us that it's impossible to do what we need to do to stabilize the North Spur so we protect the integrity of the dam and our investment. He said it's not impossible, but then he went on to describe how it is impossible. It was, I know he didn't want to come in and say, look, no one around here knows what they're doing, and you've got yourselves in a pickle, and all it's going to result in is a loss of your investment and a death. Okay. He says it's not impossible, but then he kept telling us how it was impossible. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Well, I guess that's important. He describes the methodology used by Nalcor, based on what information he was able to get and read and absorb. I won't go into the names. Well, yeah, why not? He says Nalcor used something called plastic limit equilibrium in their approach to analyze the North Spur soil. But he says the analysis required, given the fact that that particular approach is dated and has been discredited, so says Dr. Bernander. He says we had to view it as a progressive failure development analysis approach. And the basics of it, you know full well, I don't know much about geotechnical stuff. But if all the pressure at the north spur, at the toe of the spur, that's where you have to, of course, do the stabilization work, but the real problem comes with the snowball effect, I th how I analyzed it in my mind last night. If you put a snowball at the top of the hill, you roll it down the hill, and of course, f grows in size, but it also pushes some of the snow in front of the ball, out of the way, right? You can just think about it in your mind. You push something down a hill, the force grows as more mass collects, and the next thing you know, the pressure load at the toe of the spur would be so intense that it is eventually going to wash away. So he said it wasn't impossible, but he kind of described it as being impossible. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if Nalcor has used whatever approach Dr. Bernander says is the only legitimate way to approach the stabilization and the analysis of the quick clay. Pretty devastating if it does not hold. That's one thing for sure. I mean, just think of the billions of dollars that go down the river if it doesn't work out. The independent engineer charged with reviewing the scope of work and the progress at Muskrat Falls, he and his two experts, what's their names? It doesn't matter what their names are. They say that the analysis has been done to a world-class standard. They've understood the spur for decades. They are prepared to move ahead with it. They haven't let the contract yet. That's one thing I know for sure. It's because I asked Nelcor. They said they have not let the contract. They don't or they won't tell me the cost yet because the contract is not let. They say it is all included in, inside the $6.99 billion budget that we've been referring to, which includes the cost overruns recently announced. So... <sighs> Who am I to say that Bernander is wrong? But who am I to say that the independent engineer and their experts are wrong? It's hard to believe in your mind and your heart that Hydro and Nalcor, their independent engineer, who was put forward as a feature of the loan guarantee from the federal government, the experts that that person commissioned to review the North Spur work, they say it's okay. 
For me, I think that's good enough. In my head, that's okay. Vernander pointed out some obvious real risks associated with it, but I don't know. I thought it was all right. And in, in fairness, the people who are so concerned with this particular issue, I must cry overall. So between Cabot Martin, Con O'Brien, Steve Millen, who was there last night, Des Sullivan, who I met for the first time last night, and all nice men and concerned for all the right reasons. They are doing what they think is right. They are paying for Dr. Bernander to be here, not paying him for his speech, but paying his expenses. He was in Goose Bay, oh, with Jim Learning, who I also met for the first time last night, a really nice man, and I really enjoyed meeting him. They're doing what they think is right. Does that mean Nelcor is absolutely wrong and they're purposefully leading us down the garden path? 